Hi, I'm Ram Madhwani, director of Nirja, and we are talking about a very important theme today, at least from the movie's point of view, I hope you find it important, which is what makes for the turnaround in Nirja's character from somebody who decides to do something about the situation that she's in. But for her to get to that trigger, for her to get to that turnaround, there had to be something dramatic um, that would allow her to feel that fear and then for her to decide, I'm now going to be, like her father says, Bahadur Bacha Khan. This is a scene where uh, we're going to see the first killing uh, and we realize the threat of the terrorists. Um, and uh, it's also a great scene for the turnaround of Nirja's turnaround, where you realize that she's going to actually go from fear to what gives her courage. And what gives her courage is that she remembers what happened to her in her life. Um, so this was shot with four cameras and I take long takes and because I do want to see the shock on people's faces so that they feel like as if they're in the moment. Um, that glass that you see over there, that's, you know, wasn't was there, put much later because we didn't have a glass there because of reflections. And uh, because the, the, the camera would have been seen, the second camera would have been seen, seen in there. It takes a certain amount of courage for a DOP to jump off in the system because then at the same time control it. Because we are not over here trying to make it look bad just because it's honest or truthful doesn't, or real doesn't mean it has to look bad, it has to look great. And the great thing about what Mitesh and his team have done is that they pre-lit the plane for uh, I think it was almost two whole days. And so there's no light around, there's nobody with a thermocol, there's nobody saying, uh, what's my eye line? I hate that, what's my eye line? Okay. Uh, and for Mitesh to have embraced the system and yet to have sort of people recognize the work is, uh, and that that's the reason that he's got uh, the Filmfare Award for Best DOP, which is that people recognize that this kind of stuff is incredibly hard to do. Uh, Nija walks through the plane and the DOP follows her in. Uh, we've had to cut the part where he's seen in the mirror and now he's shooting into the mirror uh, and therefore you see the blood which was on one side is now on the other because it's just a reflection. And that's Khalil uh, Jim Sarb who's actually banging on the door and we have a camera which is inside, uh, we have a camera that is outside simultaneously and we also have a camera on the passengers because we're shooting those four cameras. Um, and so even while these are two big close-ups, the entire plane is there because you need to get the feeling that they're there. What is outside the frame needs to creep into what is there inside the frame. And the reason I do all of this is also because I do it in a way in which the actor's life before action and after cut seeps into during action and cut. When you're seeing the, the match cutting of these kind of two moments in her life, these two acts of terror, so to say, one is from her, uh, uh, the person she was married to and the other is from uh, the terrorist. Uh, we had, we knew that we were going to be using the same kind of lensing. We were going to be, but so first we shot in the plane, and then when we were doing it later with uh, the husband, we um, made sure that we were approximately at the same height, as you can see the two mid shots, and we were at the same uh, sort of beat, uh, and we were at the same lensing, so that when the editor was cutting it, we would get the feeling without anybody being told that this is the, these are the two same kind of people who are affecting her in her head. She remembers this. She remembers that her father says to her, Bahadur Bacha Khan. Notice we have not said Bahadur Beta Khan because we don't want to get into, in society, uh, the fact that, you know, this business about why can't it be Bahadur Beti Khan, okay? <laughs> why must it always be Bahadur Beta Khan, okay? And so therefore it says Bahadur Bacha Khan. And she decides to do something about the situation that she's in and she breathes and you can tell that she has come to a decision in her life. Uh, she opens the door beautifully open because you know she's so scared when she's opening it because fear doesn't mean that you don't, I mean courage doesn't mean that you don't have fear. Uh, and then of course when she comes out and she's taken through, as you can see it's still a one shot, it's still going on. People are yet in the zone. The camera is yet following her. Beautiful focus pulling there. Um, and then the scene ends, which is going to get to where she decides to, in a way, change from being somebody who is at the receiving end of terror to somebody who is now going to give care and comfort and, in a way, 
become somebody who's going to take charge. While Monisha and me were editing, we said, how do we make it dramatic without it becoming something which is, you know, this could have gone on and on, the, the ta 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 ta, it could have been. Therefore, the balancing of that. The, the other thing which I wanted to mention was, I would do, like, take one on day one, and then take two would happen on day two because of the light and the angle of the light. All these passengers were actually cast, uh, all 250 passengers were really cast, video tested, given backstories, and a lot of that is thanks to my associate director Vinod Rawat and, and also the acting coach of the film, uh, and Kanika, who was the casting director, to have decided pre much in advance what is the families who are sitting where and what are their relationships, and then to do those workshops. Just a word on the on the music, which is um, at the at the time at which. Um, we used to call, and this is Vishal Khurana who's done the music, uh, there is a warning bell sound that you hear, uh, and also there is a whirlpool kind of music, which is, we, we call it a whirlpool because that is what draws her back into that memory. Whenever she remembers, there's a whirlpool kind of sound. And those are obviously, uh, none of that you can sort of hear, uh, but you can feel. Ish! Ish! Pani. Go back. No water. No water. Sir, please. No water. Sir, I'm just doing my work. I'm doing my work. Like you're doing my work. Sir, I'm sorry. So, I hope you like this video. And if you do, subscribe to Film Companion.